in all things give thanks. That's what brings grace to the good, the bad, and the ugly. And all things give thanks. There is no other way to bring the spiritual through oneself and into the world in which we live, other than accepting that world exactly as it is, exactly as it is, being grateful that it's there and being thankful for it and the opportunity that it provides to bring the central guidance system into the world in which we live. To bring the unfolding order of creation into this. Thank you for being here. I get to bring it to this. Thank you. If there's corruption halfway across the world, thank God there's corruption in my life. Because I'm going to bring the government of God to that corruption. I'm going to bring the unfolding order of the universe into this. Thank you for being here for me to do that here. And I will be open to the Holy Spirit, the carrier wave of love that brings the unfolding pattern of creation, the unfolding intelligence of creation. I will be open to it and then I will express it. I will bring it as spiritual government to the world in which I live and the people and to the people that I live with. Spiritual government. That's that's different than human government. It's not meaning I'm trying to spiritually control all of you. It means that I'm bringing spiritual expression the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, the spiritual atmosphere that contains the unfolding order of creation, the government of God in the atmosphere that we share together, in my own personal culture, in the culture that we share together. We're allowing the unfolding order of creation to be present in that atmosphere and sink in, bringing a natural order into our lives, into our world. It doesn't happen without gratitude. It's easy to question what's happening, right? Like, how did this happen? How come this person is acting this way? What did I do to make them act that way? What didn't I do that I should have done? What happened in their childhood? What happened last year? We can come to think that there's some kind of judgment imposed upon us for some reason, that we did something wrong. And yet, the ultimate working of creation isn't some kind of karma debt that we might imagine, or karma credit, I suppose. It it is simply what is transpiring now because I am showing up now. That's all that matters, is it not? Whatever happened before, all that matters now is that I'm here to bring what I am here to bring to the people in my world. And we are here to do that together. How did it get like this? I suppose if we were alien anthropologists, we would maybe study that and try to figure it out. But we're not. We're here to bring. You know, it's a a kind of a religious sounding phrase, the government of God. But we are here to bring the government of being. The government of being. to bring our higher sovereign nature 
to find that we are having a living, vibrant reciprocity with divine being, sovereign being. And out of that reciprocity, out of that communion, comes the central guidance system, the unfolding order of creation that is born out of the creator. And we get to be in that experience of communion. We, the, the mutable, who sing and dance our way through life. We have the opportunity to be in deep relationship with the immutable, the unchanging, the rock of reality, the everlasting God. <clears throat> 